how to create a thumbnail on Photoshop. So today I'm going to show you all my tips and tricks I use to create my own thumbnail for my YouTube channel on Photoshop. So I'm going to show you the entire process step by step. So if you're interested, let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this thumbnail, the one I did for this video. So it's going to show you a bunch of different techniques to make like a stroke around yourself, how to hide a background, how to make some colors, like different colors glow behind yourself, how to change some um, opacity on different pictures. So once you open Photoshop, the first thing you're going to do is create a new Canva. So the size you want to use, it can be different. I use 180 by 720 just because it's like a regular size for a YouTube thumbnail. Once you did that, you can start importing some pictures. So the first picture I'm going to import is a picture of myself. So I'm going to just resize it to my liking. I want myself to be a little bigger. And also the first thing I want to do is to hide the background because I don't want to have the background on my picture. So I go at the bottom, you can use a mask uh, tool. It's going to create a mask over your picture and what you have to do is go on the sidebar, choose a brush and at the bottom you can see you have two colors. So basically the black is going to hide whatever you're brushing over and the white color is going to actually um, show back everything. One color is going to hide, the other one is going to show everything. So if, what is nice with this tool is not you're not deleting the picture. So if you're messing up and you kind of hide something you don't want to, you can just change the color back to white, go over with the brush and it will reappear. So then what you now have to do is just contour yourself with a black brush and delete all the things you don't want to. So I'm just going all around my face and body to hide all the background I don't want to use in my thumbnail. Then here, I just change the color back to white because there is a little piece of hair that I want to show again that I kind of hide by mistake. Once I did that, I kind of just put the picture in the center and when I'm going to import the background picture I want to put. So basically, I'm just going to import a picture of the, my YouTube channel, a screenshot I took on my YouTube channel. And then I resize it a little bigger so it kind of fit on my Canva. So once I did that, what I want to do is create an opacity so the background is a lot darker and we can't really see it much, so really my face is what you kind of see uh, first off. So what I do is create a shape and I put it in black. Then make sure you put it under uh, the layer of your face because you just want this layer to be uh, in front of the background but not in front of your face. Once we did that, you can just adjust the opacity of the layer, so I'm just going to, you know, Put it like 50, 60, 70, depends on what you like. I just added it to make, you know, my face kind of pop more than the rest of the thumbnail. So then what I'm going to do is add a stroke around my face. So what you need to do is click right on the picture of yourself and choose blending option. Once you're there, you're going to click uh, the checkbox of the stroke. You can choose the color you want, the size you want. So I just choose white and then you can just press OK. Once you did that, you're going to have a stroke a line all around yourself, but sometimes it's not going to be very well done. You kind of have little pieces here and there. So what you have to do then is just come back on your mask, use again the brush with the black color and kind of just go over everything you want to hide. So you just go all over the little fun little white pieces are kind of are left. And then you can just go back and redo the outline of yourself and make it a little bit smaller and a little bit cleaner. So then what I want to do is kind of add some colors behind myself to make a little glow to just make it nicer to the eye. So what I want to do is create a new layer. Then I will go to the sidebar, use the color gradient tool and you kind of choose the color you want. So at first I'm going to put some black just to kind of make it deeper around myself and make myself pop out more. 
So you just have to use the tool and make the dark and then I rename it black just so I know which layer it is. Then I will do another layer and rename it red. So what I want to do is just change the color of the gradients so you can just go in the colors at the bottom and just change it from black to red. So then I want to also add a little glow on myself and not just in the background. So what I'm going to do is create a new layer. So here I'm going to just rename it like a red glow for example. And it's important to rename all your layers so you're not lost in what you're doing. And what I'm going to do is take the brush tool, have it in set in red. So you choose the color you want, but for this thumbnail it's going to be in red. So here you can see it's in the background of what you're going to do. So it's on your face. You just bring the layer before your face and then you're just going to clip it to your face. So here you just have to press on Alt, Alt and then a little arrow will appear and then you just clip it on your face and then here you go. It's around your face. So once you did that, you can then choose the opacity. So here I can put in 10 or 20, it depends on you know how much you want the color to appear. But if you just want a just slight red glow, you can just put it to 10 or 20% opacity. Then you can just redo it again, add some colors. So here I just add a little more red, but then I change the opacity because I feel like it's not red enough. And here you go, it makes yourself a little glow of uh, of different colors. Once I did all that, what I want to add to the thumbnails is the two little picture to show other thumbnails I did on my YouTube channel. So I just have to, you know, import some files. So I'm just going to import two of uh, my other YouTube thumbnails from different videos. And then I'm going to reduce the size of both of them at the same time to make sure they are the exact same size. So I just reduce them pretty small so it kind of fit on the right side of the thumbnail. I'm just going to rotate them a little bit just to add a little bit of movement to the thumbnail. Once I did that, I want to add a glow around the thumbnails just to make it a little more pop out a little more and just to be a bit more joyful. So what I want to do is kind of the same thing I did to my face is that you're going to go on your picture, add an outer glow, so you just have to check the outer glow box and then choose the, you know, the color you want for your outer glow. So for the first picture, I'm going to choose the yellow and then for the second picture, I'm going to put a red glow. Then now I'm just going to add the YouTube logo and also the title of the video. Once I have my logo, what you can do is add some outer glow, some inner glow, whatever you want, from whatever color you want, just to make everything pop out a little more. Then to add the title, what you have to do is go on the left to your sidebar. You have to click on the text tool, which is like the one with the big T. So here what I do is write whatever title I want. So for this thumbnail, it's going to just be YouTube thumbnail. Once I have the, the right text written, I can just choose the color and make it whatever color I want. So I'm going to put it in white so it kind of pop out out of the kind of black background. Then I can adjust uh, the line height just to make it more readable. Then to align my YouTube logo with the title, what I do is select both of them. Then in the upper menu, you will kind of choose how to align them. So I'm just going to align them to the center. Then what I like to do for my titles most of the time is kind of add a stroke around the text just to make it more readable. So what I do is just click on the YouTube thumbnail text, then add a blending option and use a stroke. Then you can choose whatever your color you want. So here I'm just going to choose black and you have the option to choose where you want to your stroke if it's inner, so kind of inside your text or outer. So I choose outer just because it's more readable and it looks a lot better. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any question, let me know down in the comment section. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Salut!